Hey everyone, welcome back to Tweetsie. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to lead you through a macrame craft. Let's get into it. Alright, for today's craft you're going to need some satin cord, a small ring, a plastic needle, scissors, and tape. To start, just unwind all of the satin cord from the little cardboard holder and cut it in half. Once you have it cut in half, you're going to take one half of it and also fold this one in half. We're going to attach these two sides to the two different sides of the ring. So put two ends of one half together, slide it up through the ring, just like I'm showing you. Then put your fingers inside the big loop, grab the two ends and pull it through. This will make a knot onto the ring, just like this. Do the same thing with the other half on the other side of the ring. Once you have the two sides attached, tape one side down and measure the other side to your wrist. This measurement isn't super important, but your wrist will give us a sense of how big you want to make it. So measure it about the size of your wrist, doesn't have to be exact, and then cut it off. Place these two pieces off to the side, we'll use them later. Next, tape down the ring and the other side of the bracelet. This will make it nice and easy to make the bracelet tight. Hard part. Take one of the cutoff pieces and pass it under both of the strings. Then, fold the left side over the middle strings and under the other side. Then take the other side and pass it under all three strings where they cross in the middle. It's easiest if you pinch them all and pass it under. Then pull on both ends and it'll make your knot. Do this exact same thing but start on the right side. So pass it over both of the strings in the middle under the other string and then take that string and pass it under where all three of the other ones cross. Then pull on both and make it nice and tight. Do this as many times as you want. I would recommend 10 to 20 times. It'll make your bracelet look the best. Once you've tied the number of knots you want, I did 16, you're going to take your plastic needle and use it to place and thread both of the ends up through the bracelet. I lied before, this is actually the hardest part. So you're gonna take the two strings, put it in the needle, and work the needle up under a couple of the knots that you made. Two or three is probably the best, any more it's gonna be really, really difficult to get the strings to pass through. So you might need to loosen the threads a bit, you're gonna have to pass the needle through, and then the hardest part is getting those loops over the knot, like the place where the thread and the needle come together. So you're gonna have to wiggle it with your fingers until it pulls through. You might need an adult's help for this. Once you're done pulling both through, you can just trim them and tighten them. You're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So do the same number of knots that you did on this side, and then use your needle to thread those strings back through.
Alright, now it's time to make the bracelet actually tie together. So form a circle with the bracelet and tape these ends down to the table. You're going to want to tape them because it'll make it easier to do the slip knots. Alright, so we're going to be tying the same type of knot before, but since there's four middle strings, it's going to be a little bit more confusing. Pass the string under and then over the middle strings, then pass the other side under the cross, remember? And just do this three or four times. I did mine four. And then you're going to also have to do the same thing with the needle again. Alright, and your bracelet is almost done. Now we've just got to tie up the loose ends, quite literally. So, take the two strings that are loose on one side and tie a knot together. This will keep the bracelet together, it won't allow the slip knot to go over that big knot. So, tie a knot as close to the end as you want, because we still need to measure how big the bracelet is on your wrist. Do this to both sides, and then I'll show you what to do. Now it's time to make your bracelet the actual correct size for your wrist. So you're going to want to put the bracelet on and then measure where you need the knots to be so you can still get the bracelet off. Then retie those knots, cut off the ends, and you're done! If your bracelet's tight and everything's working, great job, you're done. But if you have some knots that came undone, mine didn't get as tight as they were supposed to be, um, the satin cord is kind of difficult to work with, you can just trim off the edges and use hot glue. Hot glue is just the easiest fix for it.
I hope you enjoyed making this macrame bracelet with me today. Thanks for joining me today to make macrame bracelets. Make sure to tune in two weeks from now to make map coasters. See you then.